to work an ice cream factory. Sounds great. You can count to 31. <laughs> this is hopeless. I'm never gonna find a job. Well, I better find my earring. Last time I had it, I was in this room. Oh, uh, what am I gonna do? My whole class is going to Catalina and I'm Tap City. You're a bright kid. You'll find a creative way to come up with the money. How's a 14-year-old supposed to come up with $100, huh? Huh? Val? Where'd you go? I'm looking for my earring! Rats! <laughs> Boy, is it dusty under here. Val, is that, is that you? You need to get your Hoover and turn it to super suck. Oh, <laughs> uh, you gotta help me. Please stop looking for your earring. Come on. I need this hundred dollars and in one short week. How long have you known about this trip? Eleven months. Incredible how these things creep up on you. Okay, listen to this. I think I found one. Wanted. Staff cardiovascular surgeon. Two hundred thousand dollars per year. Pull yourself together, doctor. You got a D in health. Joey, we gotta figure out something. We're going to Catalina. Try booking passage on the USS inner tube. <laughs> Three days away from home, not to mention two nights on a boat with girls. Moonlight reflecting off lip gloss. <laughs> Can you operate a forklift? Not since the operation. <laughs> I'm going to do what Lee Iacocca did when he was 14 and needed money. What's that? Borrow it from his father. <laughs> what did I think of that? Joey, you're not always going to have your parents around to make things easy for you. I know. That's why I think I'll use them now. <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not alive to hear this. Oh, I wish you were alive so I could kill her. Thanks, <laughs> George. Have some wine. Jennifer Farrell had to be the most scatterbrained, irresponsible spinthrift since Lucy Ricardo. Well, why don't you do what Desi used to do to relax? Go upstairs and beat your bongos. <laughs> Joey, you'll never get money out of a man who hates to break a wand. You know, last time I had those earrings, I was in this room. As if handling Jennifer Farrell's estate wasn't enough of a headache, today the IRS informs us she owes back taxes of another $97,000. I'm dead and I still have to pay taxes? Yes, I'm on the subject of money. I was wondering if I could borrow $100. You must get your timing from your mother's side of the family. How about if I just sign an IOU for a flat 50? Joey, I have enough money problems. I'm holding an auction here next week to sell off some of Jennifer Farrell's old furniture. There's a warehouse full of her junk downtown. Junk? <laughs> what do you say? If I clean the attic for you and I find something valuable, can I auction it off too? You got a deal. I'll give you 10% of anything we sell from the attic. Great! All right, 10%. Hold it! Hold it! The furniture and storage I don't care about, but the things up in the attic, those are personal. Hey, Dad, do you think it's okay to sell dead person's stuff? Joey, I know this may go against some of your personal beliefs, but most of us don't give a rat's rump about dead people's furniture. <laughs> no buts. Jennifer Farrell's furniture and that worthless rubbish upstairs is all we have left to sell. 
Bon appétit. Good year. that and you better learn to sign your name with your feet. <laughs> okay, Farrell, what you got to give me? Nothing. <laughs> Come on, I need something to auction off. What good is it to you? I always heard you can't take it with you. You have to take it with you. It's tough to get a visa card when you're dead. <laughs> you told me to use my brain, to be creative, not just to ask for the money. Now I got an idea and you won't cooperate. Joey. These personal things are all I have left. Can't you appreciate how I feel? And can't you appreciate how I feel? One good piece of Jennifer Farrell memorabilia that Mark and I can ship out on the love boat to Catalina. <laughs> oh, all right. I guess there must be something here I could give you. Hey, can I have this old dress? It's full of holes. Those holes are called lace, Joey. <laughs> well, great. Can I have it? Let me try it out first. Excuse me. Uh, Farrell. Yeah, what do you want? Are, are you, uh, na na naked? Naked? Yeah. Well, give me a break. I'm, I'm 14. 90% of my body weight is hormone. <laughs> another way. Oh, look, it's your chest. Joey, I can't give this dress away. It was given to me by one of my most favorite people. I used to be Snow White, but I drifted. So big deal, see a new Walt Disney. <laughs> Can I have the dress, please? Joey. This dress marks the turning point of my wardrobe. <laughs> okay, okay, wait a minute. How about this one? Barrel? Over here. <laughs> wow, that's great. Yeah, we're really forking the big bucks. I don't know, Joey. Remember Marilyn Monroe and Some Like It Hot? You were in that movie? No, but I was wearing it when I went to see it. I can't let you have it. <laughs> okay. Hey, how about this cowboy hat? From the only western I ever made? And these? Given to me by the man himself. <laughs> Come on, there has to be something here I can have. Okay. See that old trunk over there? Lots of old memories in there, and you can have them. Oh. A trunk of junk. Thanks. Farrell, I'll always remember you this way. <laughs> what a score. Old scripts, a left shoe, a rabbit's foot. What was she, a movie star or a bag lady? Hey, keep looking. We might get lucky. something? Uh, no. No, nothing. It's just an old calendar. Uh, look, Mark, there's nothing here, so I think I'm gonna go check the, uh, <clears throat> attic again. That's a good idea. This is getting pretty boring. I'm gonna go home and watch my guppy's mate. Hi, oh, Joe. I was looking for my earring. I found my baby album. Look at these pictures. Wasn't I cute? Yeah, adorable. Listen. <laughs> Say I went into a junk store sale, everything $5, and I bought this tiny chest. But when I got home, inside the chest, I found a $100 bill. Now, whose $100 is it? Yours? Uh, the owner was dumb enough to put the chest on sale without checking inside, then he deserves to lose it. 
Oh, look, here I was at six years old, forcing a little neighbor boy to eat dirt. So I wouldn't have to give the hundred back? Absolutely not. Look at that face. Don't you just love it? Even if the person left the hundred dollars by mistake? The person who sold you the chest is an idiot. I told you, keep the hundred dollars. Thanks for the advice, Farrell. See ya. Sneaky little twerk, you have my calendar. <laughs> this isn't fair. Oh, hi, Ma. Joey, what's happening? Nothing. <laughs> the wind. It's the wind. You see, when the cool air from outside mixes with the steam from Dad's shower, it creates your classic temperature inversion, which makes high winds in this room. You okay with that, Ma? You must get your imagination from your father's side of the family. <laughs> okay, where is it, Joey? I told you before, I have no idea where your earring is. Don't play dumb. I want my calendar back. That calendar can't hurt you now. You're dead. I've regretted posing for it all my life and then some. It's probably worth a lot of money. That'll help me and Mark go trolling for girls in Catalina. I was 18, I was hungry, and flat broke. There's nothing flat about... I posed for an artist, a sculptor friend of mine. I trusted him, and I shouldn't have. He was hungrier than I was. So what's the big deal? So there's one more Jennifer Farrell calendar around. When I got my first job out here, I used every cent I made to buy back the negative and all the calendars before they were released. It's the only one. It's worth a lot of money. Where'd you keep it? To remind me never to do anything just for money. And if you give that calendar to your father, that's exactly what you'll be doing. It's wrong, Joey. I'll get the calendar. I swear, Scout's honor. <laughs> Better get it back fast or you're going to be getting a merit badge and limping. Sure do. Thanks, son. It's worth a fortune. You did good. You did me in. <laughs> Dad, where, where'd you find that poster? In your room. Oh, yes, the Benedict Arnold suite. <laughs> so I didn't actually give it to you. Well, no, I happened to be walking by your room, and there it was. What a find. OK, OK, so you didn't give it to him. I'm sorry. Just get it back, please. You know, Daddy, I was thinking, maybe we shouldn't sell it. Susan, he's been talking to his friend again. Joey, do you feel that Jennifer Farrell wouldn't want us to sell it? Well, the thought had crossed my mind. Well, maybe she'd be willing if we painted a sweater on her. Joey, I am holding the most valuable thing we have to auction, and we're selling it, period. But, George, who would want this old calendar anyway? 1966 isn't coming back. <laughs> Joey, you have to help me. I made one mistake one time. I don't want to be remembered for that one mistake. How am I supposed to get that back? He's going to be sleeping with it. <laughs> An even better reason to get it back. <laughs> Not here. Neither is my earring. The good 
tune you as I tuned your piano. <laughs> sure. Hit a C sharp! <laughs> Wherever your father hid that calendar, it is nowhere to be found. <clears throat> oh, I have to take my books upstairs. I can't imagine where your father put it. Joey, uh, Mr. Dibbles wants you to meet my son, Joey. Joey, Mr. Dibbles is going to be the auctioneer today. How do you do? <laughs> Worst thing about being dead is you never get introduced to anybody. <laughs> Mr. Dibbles, what do you think all this furniture will bring? Groans, mainly. <laughs> Uh, not to worry. We'll sell it. <laughs> hey, maybe if they get enough money for the furniture, they won't have to sell the calendar. Hey, maybe if you get enough money for the furniture, you won't have to sell the calendar. <laughs> Young man, the collectors and publishers that have contacted me have indicated the nude calendar is the foremost item of interest in this pile of mediocrity. What are people's values? Why should a tush be worth more than a table? <laughs> so... Where is the fabled calendar? I like to see what I'm selling. I hid it in a great place. I got Joey to lock in the trunk of the car. <laughs> Mr. Tibbles, I have an old waffle iron only toast on one side. You suppose if we told him it belonged to Jennifer Farrell, it's some idiot. <laughs> you lied to me. Let's not call it that. Oh, but that's what it is. You're right, and I'm sorry. I knew I'd either end up disappointing you or disappointing my dad. You wanted one thing and he wanted another. I care about you. But he's my father. I also care about him. I never thought of it that way. You're right. I put you in a tough spot. It's very important for a father and a son to trust each other. A lot more important than some old calendar. Still, I shouldn't have lied to you. Hey, it's all right, I understand. Ironic. I turned down an Academy Award winning picture because there was a nude scene in it. Now I'll be hanging in every muffler shop in America. <laughs> Going once. Going twice and sold to this young gentleman for one dollar. Thank you. <laughs> I I'll, I'll just use it as a paperweight. <laughs> so what's Monty Hall doing here? Uh, he used to be a big fan of Jennifer Farrell's. Yeah. Besides, he can't pass up a deal. <laughs> no kidding. He just spent a fortune on a pink vase. Class will get you ten. You can't look for what's behind the kitchen door. <laughs> this is terrific. These people are buying everything. Ninety dollars. Ninety dollars. Thank you. One hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Thank you. Susan, what are you doing? You just spent a hundred dollars for an old waffle iron. George, but we need one. Ours only toes on one side. You are here. One hundred and ten. Sold for one hundred dollars to the lady of the house. <laughs> Where have you been? Nowhere. I just had something to do. Next on the block, one of Jennifer Farrell's diamond earrings. Hey, my earring. I've been looking for that all week. Do I hear $5,000? <laughs> uh, probably was paste anyway. Let's move on to the most extraordinary item in our auction today. A nude calendar picture of the late Jennifer Farrell. Joey, get the calendar, son. Come on, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Jennifer Farrell. I first met her when she was a banana in my audience. <laughs> Never thought I'd see her peel. <laughs> I just hope it gets a good price. We will start the bidding at $10,000. I'm going to kill it. 
and this one wasn't there. Joey, did you change? I got it out of your baby album. I figured it was a better buy. You're wearing less clothes. Joey, thank you. They think you're too bad. Why can't I have a normal son who's flunking school and running with a street gang? He's still young. Maybe he will someday. My father looks like he's measuring me for a body cast. Joey, the opera isn't over till the fat lady sings. Uh, please, ladies and gentlemen, do I hear a bit of something, anything? <laughs> Mr. Monty Hall bids ten thousand dollars. Thank you very much. Do I hear twelve thousand? If it's worth ten grand a Monty, it must be valuable. Twelve thousand dollars. Twelve thousand dollars. Thank you very much, sir. Twelve thousand dollars. I bid. Do I hear fourteen? Fourteen thousand dollars in the back row. Thank you, sir. Sixteen thousand dollars right here. Thank you, sir. Sixteen, sixteen, eighteen thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars, madam. Thank you very much. Twenty-two thousand dollars. $22,000 I am bid. Do I hear twenty-four? $22,000 going once. $22,000 going twice. Sold to the gentleman for $22,000. Thank you very much, sir. Joey, this is working out perfectly. I haven't the slightest idea why, but I'm sure you have a very good explanation. Well, Dad, I knew this picture would sell me. And you're too much of a gentleman. You got too much class to go around selling pictures and naked ladies, no matter how much it's worth. It's amazing. A kid always lands on his feet. Maybe he has someone who catches him. I can't believe I paid four thousand dollars for a trout. I'm willing to make a deal. I don't do that anymore, kid. I want you to go to Catalina. I want you to promise me you're going to have a good time. You've really helped me out. Thanks. You helped me out, too. Come here. Well, now that you got it back, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to keep it. I'm thinking of opening a muffler shop. <laughs> Jennifer slept here, them. I'm Tom Brokaw at the Republican National Convention. As President Reagan arrives in Dallas, the Republicans prepare to nominate him for re-election. Join me for complete coverage tonight. And later, it's The Tonight Show, starring Johnny Carson.